All right, you guys, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today we are planting fig trees and we're also planting one actually in a raised bed here. This is a two foot, or excuse me, a one foot high raised bed. And so when we plant this fig tree here in this raised bed, we get to see a nice benefit of having a warmer soil temperature in the spring. Uh, we also have a little bit of a negative. So this is kind of what I'd like to touch on in this video is actually a colder soil temperature in the winter time because now the, the soil is above grade, the root system is above grade. We can certainly struggle with maybe having a little bit of damage around the root zone. And when I have these container trees here that you guys see, we protect them in the winter time. I always tell you guys, keep the tree above 15 degrees Fahrenheit. At the very minimum, keep it above 10 degrees Fahrenheit because the roots at that temperatures, at those temperatures may start to take damage. And you may actually lose your tree from the root zone taking damage, which then kills the top. So when we plant our fig tree in this really advantageous way of planting it way, well above grade by having those extra soil temperatures in the spring, there's definitely a huge benefit, but there's also a huge negative. And you're taking a risk but I have found over the years now, really it's been like five years, I think, that I've been experimenting with planting these fig trees in, in raised beds, in high mounds, different varieties, different uh, trees, different locations, different heights, different planting depths. Um, I've planted them below grade, I've planted them above grade. And so this Nerucciola de Elba actually here, which is a rather hardy variety, I don't think really received much protection at all on the top of it. Um, in fact, I don't think it did at all because it did get killed back. Yeah, it got killed back here by the winter time, by the cold. And the root zone itself, the raised bed, received no winter protection. There was no insulation whatsoever. So this thing here has survived the winter by planting above, being above grade. Not only did the top survive somewhat, but also the bottom. And that was really the key. Did, will the bottom survive? Can you plant a fig tree here? in a raised bed and now the following season i actually took three air layers off of this very recently that were pretty sizable it's come back really nicely this is a dwarf tree it doesn't grow very quickly it doesn't grow very big but compared to some of my other new Shola de elba trees this one's really performed super well so i'm really happy about that and now i want to do the same thing in this other raised bed here with uh, Verdino del Nord. Now I did lose my Verdino del Nord that was planted in this exact raised bed last year. The reason for that, I think, is because I air layered off something which was now this tree. <laughs> it's now looking like this tree here. So when I removed that air layer and I pruned off some of the other uh, cuttings that I took from that tree, I didn't leave a whole lot left. And so there really wasn't many or any real viable buds on that tree. And, it, and uh, after really evaluating it and digging it up and looking at below the soil, everything was alive. There just really wasn't really any viable buds left from the winter damage it took, from the pruning I did, and from the pruning I did with this air layer, you could call basically another form of pruning. So essentially we i ended up killing my tree in a different way but nonetheless it did die in this situation um but we're going to do it again that's how confident i am is that we're going to replant this variety basically in this raised bed to have really that same benefit um that we didn't really get to see all that much with this particular tree because it just had not gotten established that well. We're really struggling here with these bags. I must admit, I thought maybe I could get away with it uh, by cutting the side of the bag, but even cutting the side of the bag, it seems like this tree doesn't really wanna cooperate here with me. Oh, there we go. Maybe that's the best we can do. Now I have to kind of straighten this out. You know what, I actually, I think I may be better off putting this on an angle. This is still an absolute mess. 
push down on this a little bit because what I want to do is bury as much of this stem here below the soil and uh, so actually yeah planting it on an angle like that we're gonna be better off pack down the soil and then we're gonna fill this in So now we definitely have some good growth. Even this new growth that was forming down there, I think you guys may have saw that. May have to give it a little bit of a rewind, but there was new growth forming there that certainly is going to survive this winter. And what I'm also planning to do, and probably will just bend this over like that and cover it with mulch, and uh, it will survive the winter this time. Got to be careful with my pruning. Throw on this soil over here. Stick this tag in here just for, whoops. Just to have an extra tag. And then all this has got to go in. And we could even add more soil. It's not like I'm adverse here at this point to adding more soil. The higher we can get this raised bed, the better off I think we are. So this is kind of what I'm trying to get at here, guys, is that when we plant our figs, th this is basically the method we should be using for all of them. And we even want to go higher than this, which is crazy. We want to go even double the height of this. This is only a foot. But if we can make this even double the height or even keep adding more soil to that, because right now it's probably only 10 inches above grade, or at least the soil level is only about eight to 10 inches. I need to add more soil probably to this uh, Nubrichilla de Elba. But just by having them anything really in a raised bed, when I plant my tomatoes, my peppers, my melons, all those heat loving crops in these raised beds, they do so much better. The fig is no different. The fig needs those warmer soil temperatures. And uh, so it just only makes total sense that if we could just get them through the winter, this would be a huge benefit. And uh, so that's my recommendation. Been recommending it for years. We've been doing this for years. Uh, this is actually the only tree I've lost uh, through this whole process so and I don't even think it was because of the reasons that we need to watch out for it it's just because of my own greed I wanted to propagate this fig as much as I could so anyway guys thank you so much this is uh again Ross we'll see you guys soon hit that subscribe button check out our blog figboss.com catch you guys for the next one